I'm Danielle. And I'm Union. And, and this, this is Royals Week in Review. Today is January 26, 2018. Yo, Union, can you rap? Yup, drop a beat. All right. Um, uh, so you know okay, I- Okay, stop, no, this is not gonna work out. You gotta leave it to the professionals. You right, you right. <laughs> It consists of nothing but Mike and Knights and fries. You been in the gym? I can tell. It looked like you lost a psych. I lied. My mama's so petty, man. It's not a joke. She wake me up just to find her remote. Find her remote. You heard what you said. My mama so on her teeth under my bed. Hey, Danielle, what'd you do with all your old homecoming dresses? I don't know. It's just sitting in the back of my closet. You know, you should donate it to the Cinderella Project. Hey Royals, I'm Fatine Almer with your ASP Exec Board hey. Wow, nice. Okay, we just want to give you guys some finals week <laughs> motivation. Anything you want to say, Jada? Um, make sure that you're putting yourself in a place where you can study and focus and you look at that creep. And be productive. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you guys are sleeping well uh, and taking care of yourselves. Don't um, worry too much about your work. It's important, but not as important as your mental health. And we just want you guys to know that no matter what the outcome, you guys are still amazing and we love you guys. Make sure to treat yourself after finals. <laughs> yeah, get that self-care. Is it Sunday or Saturday? I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Royals. Bye. Have good luck, even though you don't need it because you all prepared. My name is Miss Barnes, and I'm a new teacher here at Kent Meridian High School, and I'm going to be teaching a college prep elective for the Upward Bound program associated with the University of Washington. What we're looking for are 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, low income, and or first generation in your family to be graduating from a college. So that know or at least have an idea that they're interested in going to college. And if that's the case, then they can apply to the Upward Bound program. Applications are due on February 9th. That's the priority due line. Um, and we'll accept applications all the way until February 28th. That's the final pretty hard deadline. Um, students that are accepted, and it is a little bit competitive, we only have 40 spots for the entire school. Students that are accepted will participate in the six-week summer academy on campus at the University of Washington with transportation provided. Um, they will get things like uh, UW meal tickets so that they can eat on campus. They'll take classes from UW professors. Um, there's a pretty good solid list of classes that we're working on that will be they'll be able to take. They can earn high school credit. We go on field trips once a week um, and that includes field trips to other colleges. Hey Union, I heard that Maya and Louise got first place at the DECA competition last weekend. Oh yeah, can I represent? Hi, my name is Maya and I'm a DECA member and I just competed this Saturday. My name is Luis and I am the DECA president. I also competed this Saturday. Uh, DECA is uh, a club that helps you with your professionalism and is a business management club. There's a lot of different categories that come with like marketing and business management. And usually when people hear that, they're like, oh, it's boring, I'm not gonna join. But it's actually, it's actually a really fun club where you get to go compete with the other schools. Uh, we competed this past Saturday in our area and Maya here is my partner and we got first place in our category, which is marketing management and we are now moving on to state. At the competition, we were put into a table where we waited and we were given a role play. And what you have to do with this role play is you have to come up with whatever they tell you, a solution to a problem. And after a certain amount of time, uh, 30 minutes, they, you go into a room with a couple judges and they judge how your role play is and you have to be part of like what your role tells you. So we were co-assistant managers of them all. That's what we had to act with. It was really stressful. We thought we were like not gonna place at all. Yeah. So honestly, I think we're just really glad that we yeah. get this opportunity. So it's really great because last year I completely failed it. It's like <laughs> not even one of the finalists, but this year we- That was me, right? Yeah, this year. <laughs> This year we placed first place. Uh, it was actually, we were really surprised because we thought we had really good ideas. 
and there's like 10 people in our category and only six would go to state and they and when they were counting down we knew like our chances were getting lower and lower and so when we heard our first place when we heard camp meridian uh, we just got really excited and i believe that everybody should go and try to join DECA because it's a really fun club and you'll be surprised at how much fun you have. You know what hasn't shown up in a while? A more fall song. Dang, I missed that show. Well, you're in luck because the next episode is about to air right now. Pues no pienses así, te quiero ayudar. Pues no, está bien, es que no quiero que pierdas tu tiempo conmigo. ¿Qué haces aquí? Oh, es que estaba pasando por aquí y te escuché tocando. Gracias, eh, necesito mucha práctica. Pues yo pensé que tocabas muy bien. Nunca había escuchado una melodía así antes. Oh, espérame, solo para mañana. Oh, es muy linda. Gracias. Ah, oh, ¿sabes qué? Tengo un concierto mañana en la tarde. Ah, ¿Quieres venir? ¿Yo? Ah, sí, me encantaría ir. Te va mañana. No puedo creer, me invitó a ese concierto. No sé qué me voy a poner. Hola María. Hola Angélica. ¿Viniste a venir alguien? Sí, vine por mi amigo, es que me invitó a su concierto. Oh, yo vine con mi novio, pero está aburrido, no sé cómo le gusta. Oh. Primero vamos a ver a una niña muy talentosa y ella se llama Beatriz. Ya me enfadé, tengo otras cosas que hacer. Bye. Y ahora vamos a escuchar la hermosa pieza de un niño muy talentoso, muy guapo, Jesús. Gracias por venir. Oh, de nada, tocaste muy bien. Gracias. Te tengo en la palma de mi mano. Exactamente donde te quiero. And that's it for this week's episode of Rose Week Review. I'm Danielle. And I'm Union. See you next week. Bye.